You can end that section by strumming up each of the strings in the very first shape, one at a time. The next section uses the fingers to play a melody and the thumb to play a bass note accompaniment at the same time. Do this. Put your pointer finger on the first string, fifth fret, and with your ring finger of your right hand, pluck that string together with the thumb on the right hand plucking the fifth string. Now, with your middle finger, hit the first string again, and with your pointer finger, hit the first string one more time. That first measure goes like this. Try alternating between a separate finger for each note in the melody, like this. Ring finger, middle, index. Try not to play all the notes in the first string with the same finger. Don't do this, for example. In almost every difficult classical piece, right hand difficulties can be worked out by paying attention to alternation. Getting used to using different fingers now will keep you from developing some troublesome habits later on. Okay, so so far you have... For the next measure, you're going to play these notes on the first string. Fifth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret. And with that fifth fret, the first note, you're going to hit the fifth string with your thumb. So the next measure should go five, seven, eight. A little faster, five, seven, eight. Again, alternate your right hand fingers, ring, middle, index. For the next measure, put your third finger on the first string, seventh fret, hit the third string with that note, hit the seventh fret again with your middle finger, and then the fifth fret with your pointer finger. A little faster. Slide your pointer finger down to the uh, third fret of the first string. This time, hit the second string with your thumb together with that note. Rest a beat. And then with your pointer finger, hit the first string open. So you get... Now put your pointer finger on the first string, first fret. Middle finger on the third string, second fret. Hit the third string with your thumb and the first string with your ring finger. Middle finger on the first string again. Pointer finger on the first string again. A little faster, you get... Lift up your middle finger, keep your pointer finger where it is on the first string, first fret. Hit the thumb on the fourth string and um, hit the note on the first string with your ring finger. Put your third finger down on the first string, third fret. Hit that with your middle finger and go back to your pointer finger at the first fret. Hit that in your right hand with the pointer finger again. A little faster, that measure goes like this. Now move your middle finger in your left hand down to the 4th string 2nd fret. Hit your thumb on the 4th string and your ring finger on the 1st string. Pause 2 beats, so you're going to get... Then for the last measure of that section, hit the thumb on the 6th string, rest a beat, and then hit your 1st finger on the 1st string. So you're going to get 1, rest, 1st string. Okay, so that section all together goes like this. To play the complete piece, we're going to repeat most of that section and add a, add a different ending. The ending goes like this. Hit your thumb on the second string, um, open, and your middle finger on the first string, open. Count two extra beats, and put your pointer finger on the uh, third string, second fret, pinky on the first string, um, fifth fret. Hit those two notes together with your thumb and ring finger. Count two extra beats after that. And then, final note, hit the fifth string open with your thumb. And count two extra beats. Again, that ending goes like this. Open strings. Pointer finger on third string second fret. Pinky on first string fifth fret. And then thumb on fifth string open. That whole section with the new ending sounds like this. ending. All together, with both endings, this part of the piece should go like this.
From there, we're going to play the whole, whole first section again. And finally, to end the piece, we'll add a coda section. Start by making the very first shape you have in the piece. Point your finger on the third string first fret, middle finger on the fourth string second fret. Hit just the fourth string second fret with your thumb. Slide that shape up one fret so that your pointer finger is on the third string second fret and your middle finger is on the fourth string third fret. Strum the top four strings with your, th with your thumb. Strings four, three, two, and one. Now move up two frets, that same shape, so that your pointer finger is on the uh, third string fourth fret, your middle finger is on the fourth string fifth fret. Strum again with your thumb. Slide that shape back down two frets to where you were, second fret and third fret. Strum again. And end with an E chord. Put your pointer finger on the third string first fret, middle finger on the fifth string second fret, third finger on the fourth string second fret, and strum. All together, the coda sounds like this. A little faster. Again. With all the parts put together, the entire Malaganya piece sounds like this. Use the techniques that we've covered here and other classical pieces that you want to try will be a little bit easier.